Yo, what up, Street Talks there, Kim? All right, so why I'm so suspicious of everybody on the internet. So, some simple heuristics. Anyone who derives their income from advertising, marketing, and stuff like that, trust no person who is not independently wealthy or if their you know, wealth is derived from a different source. So for example, um, you know, anyone who puts ads on YouTube, probably can't trust them. Anyone who also monetizes their own website or blog or whatever via ads, probably not good either. And it's, it's not because like making money or a living from what you're passionate about is bad, is once again, there's, there's always gonna be some sort of conflict of interest. And I know for myself, I can only trust myself. I can't trust other people. And you know, I think, a lot of people too actually have good hearts and people have good intentions, but you know the saying the road to hell is paved with uh, good intentions seems like uh, actually a pretty pretty accurate one. And so even for me, when it comes to uh, opinions and stuff like that, yo, what up, Sam? Looking good, bus. Yo, I like your Civic, yo. That's my sons. Oh, that's your sons? Yo, your sons fire, dude. Um, and so, yeah, when it comes to other people on the internet and stuff like that, it's difficult to actually ascertain people's personal motives. It's difficult to ascertain uh, why people feel a certain way. Um, and I think actually it's much more effective for you to try to determine your own personal morals and ethics and stuff like that and to analyze yourself. Like, I've been really um, reading a lot of uh, the Lies of the Eminent Philosophers on, uh, on what's his name, on Thales. And I think he might have coined the notion of know yourself. So it's difficult to know other people, but it's, it's more accurate to, to know yourself because everyone knows what their own hidden demons are. Everyone knows what your own life story is. And we could gain deeper insight about our own personal motives and ethics unless other people reveal themselves to you 100%, it's impossible to know other people as well. I'll give you an example. So, you know, trust no fitness expert or bodybuilder or powerlifter or whatever until they have actually admitted that they've taken steroids or weird things. So like even the homeboy uh, Callum Von Monger, I think, is like the Arnold Schwarzenegger lookalike. I actually really admire and trust him because he openly admitted that, you know, he did roids. So he's actually to be much more trusted. Whereas everyone who claims all oh, natty and stuff like that, you know, myself included, you cannot trust them until you've seen the 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 steroids in the left butt cheek, right? And so a lot of people who you can consider it this way. As long as your living depends on your physique or how you look, everyone's always going to cheat a certain way. Why? Not because they're bad people, but they're kind of soft pressured into doing so. So for example, The Rock, right? You know, the, the, the dude's obviously juicing his eyeballs out. And it's not because he's a bad person, it's because his physique is so dependent on his income and who he is and the problem is he's so he's so dependent on his physique in order for him to get the roles and stuff like that and now because he's become this uh role model to everyone he cannot backtrack so the rock until he dies cannot openly admit that he does steroids or whatever because once again his mr nice guy and I typically don't really trust nice guys because they're the ones who are probably the most uh, suspicious because everyone's a nice guy until they reveal their asshole. And even for myself, like I think I'm a nice guy, but I mean, there's obviously a lot of bad things about me too. And so I would just really encourage you to be extremely suspicious of other people, especially if they have good motives. Cause you know, the saying the the road to hell is paved with the good intentions and this is why I actually don't even trust the opinions of others 
who are anonymous on the internet because you know, you don't know what kind of mental illnesses people's got. You don't know what their personal life story is and stuff like that. Like, I'll tell you a personal story. There is this guy. Uh, his name is uh, let's let's name him. His name is Jim, right? The biggest asshole I've ever met. And you know, the problem with this character is, you know, he massively disrespected me to my face. But you know. Who knows what kind of closet demons that he personally has. And I kind of realized his disrespect of me. It wasn't my issue. It was actually more of his personal issue. So when it comes to uh, anything in life, when people criticize or critique, uh, critique you, it's more a reflection of their own personal problem with themselves. So at this point, I don't really care nobody's opinion of me besides maybe let's say uh, Cindy and my few close friends or family members because I know them and uh, actually the irony too is people who really hate on you or critique you or you know troll on you whatever it may be they are probably the most enamored with you I think my heuristic is my saying is hatred is just love in disguise anyone who flatters you with so much curiosity. They must be obs obsessed with you. And so, you know, don't read internet comments, blog comments whenever possible, and just know that in this life, probably the greatest joy and happiness is the freedom of your own opinion, is uh, the freedom of uh, self-expression to express yourselves however you want and uh, avoid people or situations where you know you kind of get pressured into making a certain judgment or value statement in a way that you uh, you don't like uh, don't trust other people on the internet and uh, have more faith in yourself um, Disregard the criticism of others. Even with your own criticisms of yourself, be actually kind of skeptical towards yourself. So essentially be skeptical towards others, be skeptical of the others' opinions of, uh, of you and stuff like that. And um, yeah, like our friend Jay-Z says, you're born perfect, fuck all the BS. You just gotta see you because everyone wanna be us, right? J Electronica written testimony. So have more faith in yourself. You know, if you're gonna criticize or critique anybody, let it be yourself. And even then, at the end of the day, ain't nothing wrong with you.